Hi, everybody. This is Wally McDermott from Scality, uh, and we are going to talk today about cloud media workflows. We're going to show you a demonstration of Scality Zenko integrated with Azure Video Indexer. So very quickly, I think many of you know who Azure is, but some of you may not know who Scality is. Uh, we are a software company that solves massive scale data storage and management problems for private and public clouds. Been around for many, many years. We have over 200 global enterprise customers, some of whom have dozens of petabytes under management. So we have a lot of history in this massive scale uh, data management space. We are a market leader. If you look at the latest Gartner Magic Quadrant for distributed file system and object storage, uh, a leader in the Gartner critical capabilities for object storage paper, uh, and a leader in the IDC Marketscape report as well. And last but not least, we are an Azure partner, although this presentation today is a Scality only project. We are integrating with uh, Azure Video Indexer, but Scality has just done this work on our own. So why Scality and why cloud media workflows? Well, I think if you're familiar with the media and entertainment industry, you know that over the past few years, that industry has been going through a revolution. Right? This massive transformation to content anywhere, anytime, on the billions of connected devices that we all carry with us, whether those be phones or tablets or laptops or what, what have you. So clearly the amount and the type of content has changed dramatically and media companies have had to ad adapt not only to how they deliver and create this content, but also how they monetize um, these new business models. The foundational part of these transformations, media companies are leveraging more and more cloud services in an increasingly sophisticated way. And so what we're going to talk about today over the next few minutes is how Scality Zanko product enables media companies to quote unquote cloudify all of their existing on-prem data so they can modernize and integrate with powerful cloud services. So what does this look like? Again, broadcasters, studios, media companies create and move content across many, many locations, both internally and public cloud services as well. And they want to use public cloud because companies like Azure have many, many value-added services that enhance what media companies have always done, whether it's content distribution services, uh, compute services for transcoding or encoding, or what we're going to show you today is the Azure Video Indexing Service, which is a very sophisticated artificial intelligence service that automatically reads and translates metadata from your video files. Now, Zenko here in the middle of the slide, works with not only Scality's Ring product, which is an on-prem object storage solution, but also supports your legacy on-prem data such as NetApp, EMC, IBM, Ceph, and others. All right, so now what I'd like to do is uh, introduce my special guest today, Nicholas Ombert, uh, who's a software engineer here at Scality. And Nicholas, you've been playing around with Azure Video Indexer recently, and I think you've done an integration with Zenko, correct? Yeah, it's correct. So um, the goal of my um, of my project was like to actually enable the user to upload a file through Zenko, and so through this uh, data browser that I'm going to show you. And uh, so this file is going to be sent actually to uh, Azure Indexer, and this Azure Indexer going to actually uh, return the metadata. I mean, we're going to save the metadata that we get from this Azure Video Indexer. Got it. And that's an interesting because the media companies, the metadata that sits on top of a, a video, it might be how many people are in the frame or what language they're speaking or the clothes that they're wearing. It adds a lot of value on top of the video. It, yeah, exactly. Right? And yet people would have to manually create it. But what you've done is you take a raw um, video file with no metadata, send it up to Video Indexer. Video Indexer creates all the metadata automatically, and exactly. then we pull that back down into Zenko. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. So I'm going to show you, I think uh, it's going to be uh, clearer, like if I show you in, yeah, in my demo. So here, here we are. So here is the uh, multi-cloud, here is the multi-cloud uh, browser, so the Zenko multi-cloud browser. And here is the empty uh, video indexer. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is gonna uh, I'm gonna upload a, a video. So let's pick like, uh, 
lady. So this video of this lady playing with his phone, with her phone. Um, so as we can see, like the the video has been uploaded on the Senko side with no metadata, no tag. So we can see that all of the tag are empty here. So Zenko supports both system created and user created met metadata, but for this file, there's none right now. There is none right now, correct. Okay. And since we uploaded the video on Zenko, it also uploaded the video on the video indexer side. And as we can see, it's like indexing right now. So the upload has been done, but now all of the, the indexing is, is going on. And this index, this indexing, as you said, gonna like um, give us information about the video, and all of this information we're gonna save it in the metadata after uh, this video has been indexed. Got it. All right. And if you're familiar with a cooking show, what what gonna, gonna happen right now is we've put the cake in the oven. So I'm gonna pause the recording just for a minute, and we will come back to you when the video is fully indexed. Uh, welcome back. It looks like we're about to take the cake out of the oven. It looks like our video has finished processing. Nicholas, tell us what's happened. So exactly, so it's uh, done. Now the video has been indexed in um, in the video indexer. So the, in the, the video indexer has done its job, and uh, we actually pulled. Now we pulled the the information that the video gave us about this video, uh, and we pull it in our metadata in our tag actually. And now we can see if we click at the view info. We can see that now we have four tags, and if we look at the tag, we can see that the this is a person, this is indoor, this is a woman, and she's drinking wine. Excellent. So that's the the information that we get from uh, the video indexer, and that's the power actually of the including uh, of including this. Uh, process now. Excellent. So now the media company can upload their videos to Azure Video Indexer, have them all automatically categorized, pull that data back into Zenko, and use that metadata for everything from efficient content distribution to advertising to storing, things like that. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Very impressive. Can I have one more slide I just want to show the audience if you can sure. go back to our slideshow? Oh. So if you are interested in Zenko, please go to um, www.zenko.io. Uh, the use case we talked about today was cloud media workflows, but we have prospects and customers using Zenko for cloud disaster recovery and high availability for data, a number of customers looking at Zenko for edge and IoT to cloud use cases, and many, many more. Nicholas, thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for that de demonstration. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Thanks, everybody.